Now, how important was this idea in your mind that going to college would end the molestation by your father? How important was it? Yes, how significant a notion was this? It was the most important thing in my life. It was everything in my life. It was all I thought about. Why was it all you thought about? I don't understand. All right. Why was it all I thought about? Yeah. Because it would end the sex, and that's all I thought about. How did you feel at 18 about the fact that your father was having sex with you? I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. And what did you think your options were with respect to sex with your father? Uh, options? I had no options. Well, let me ask you this. Did you, over the course of that, uh, well, did you, over the course of the preceding three years, ever consider killing yourself? Yes. And what was the reason, as far as you understood it, why you thought about killing yourself? Because it would end the sex. And that's all I wanted. And had you ever tried to end the sex through confrontation or violence against your father? Yes. Yes? You were violent towards your father? Oh, no, not violence, no. But I said no to him once. You said no once? Yes. How old were you when you said no? I was 17. And was there a reason that you gave him for saying no? Not that I gave him. Was there a reason, though? Yes. What was the reason? I just... I couldn't take it anymore. I didn't, I didn't want it anymore, and I, I was really in a, a bad state that day, and he just walked in the room, and I said no. Were there certain things or signals that he did when he walked into your room that told you that he wanted sex of some kind? Yes. And did any of those things happen on that day when you said no? Yes. Now, without going into the details of it, um, on that particular occasion, after you said no, did your father become upset? Yes. And did he do anything violent? Yes. And would you just tell us, not what happened, but just generically, what violent things did he do? He threw me on the bed and uh, went to get a knife and uh, put it at my throat. Put the knife to your throat? Yes. And was there sex with your father that day? Yes. Was it that fourth kind that you called yes. sex? I want to uh, ask you to go to an incident, however, of sex that uh, involved your father using a knife. We've, you've referred to this before. Remember that? Yes. Okay. First, can you tell us how old you were when that occurred? I was 17. And where were you living? In the Calabasas house. And your brother, was, was he even in California at that time? If you remember. I don't really remember if he was. I think he may have been. I'm Did you sure. have your own suite of rooms in the Calabasas house? I had two rooms. Yes, you did? Yes. And did this incident with your father start out with him having a knife, or did the knife evolve? It didn't start out with him having a knife. Okay. How did it start out? It started out with him coming in my bedroom and telling me to get on my knees. I was on the bed at the time. And that was fairly common, wasn't it? Yes. And uh, did you do it? No. What did you do? I, I got up, and as I was getting up, I said no. And did you give him a reason for saying no? No, I just said no. Did you say you had a headache? I don't remember saying I had a headache. Do you remember telling me in the past that you thought you told him you had a headache then? Overall. What I remember now is all I remember. Okay. 
So you just said no. Do you know why you said no? Yes. Why did you say no? Because I had been building myself up for a long time before then. Uh, I'd really been building myself up to, 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 to resist him in some way or, or fight back. I, I really hated myself at the time and I, I disliked who I was. And so I just had to, I wanted to do more than say no, but all I could do was say no. Okay, so you said no because you had been planning on saying no. Is that the answer? Yes. All right. And how did he react to your saying no? Oh, he hit me and threw me on the bed. Okay. And after he did that, what did he do? He left the room. And what did you think when he left the room? I didn't know. Did you think your resistance had worked at that point? No, because he stormed out of that room. So what happened next? He came back with the knife. Now, this knife, Mr. Menendez, is a small, medium, large? I think it's like that. It's yeah. not bigger. I mean, I remember it being huge. Okay. And where was it kept at that house? It was in my parents' bedroom. And when he came back with the knife, what did he do with it, if anything? He put it on my neck. He put his hand on my head and put the knife on my neck. And did he hurt you with it? No. Did he threaten you with it? Yes. What did he say? He said, I should kill you, and next time I will. And did you believe him? Yes. And following that, did he then um, demand an act of sex from you? You want me we approach? Did he then demand something from you? Yes. What? Sex. And did you comply? Yes. Did you complain? No. Did you resist? No. Did you say no? No. Did you just do it? Yes. And had he on this occasion uh, requested that you go into a particular position that was unusual? Yes. And what was unusual about it? It was that I, uh, I put my knees on the uh, edge of the bed. Well, hadn't he asked you to do that before? Yes, but it was unusual. It never, it only happened three times in my life. Was there a mirror in this room, Mr. Menendez? Yes. And were you positioned in some way with respect to the mirror? Yes. And is that what was unusual about this as well? That only happened twice in my life. Well, was this one of the times that happened? Yes. And did he make you look? Yes. And how did you feel about that experience afterwards? I, uh, I really uh, hated myself. And did you feel that you would be resisting him again in the future? No. Was there a thought that would go through your mind when your father was having sex with you concerning dying? Yes. What was that thought? And I'm focusing now on when you were in California, when you were a teenager. I just wanted more than anything else uh, that when I died that no one would find out that this was happening to me. When these sexual things were happening with your father, did you think that you might die? Yes. Did you understand how or why? No, I, I just felt like I was going to die. I, it just was so horrible that I just, I wanted to die and I felt like I was going to die. I just didn't want to die with anyone knowing. You didn't want to die in the middle of it? No. Is that what you meant? Yes. Uh, I, I definitely uh, did not want to die in the middle of it. And if you had died in the middle of it, what might happen? People would know. People would know what? That I was having sex with my father. Did any of that thought enter your mind on Sunday night, August 20th, 1989? Yes.
Did you ever try to stop him? Once, when I was 17. Dad, I can't. Well, it's all right to be scared, son. I do this to make you stronger. No. All through history, men have done this together before going into battle. It made the Greek and Roman soldiers powerful warriors, invincible. I in said no! No, Eric! No. I don't. I don't want to hurt you. Now get back on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>